Hi, this is Rose from Bighorn Library. A few weeks ago, we got a very fun email from our library headquarters, Marigold, saying they had a candy sushi kit available for libraries to borrow for programming. Super fun. You see a picture of it right there. This is the kind of thing we love best, a craft that you can eat. Here, we're going to, what are you going to make a piece of? I'm going to make these ones. All right, you're going to see this going together now. Now, one of the fun things we've learned this evening is that making candy sushi is fabulous because, as Danielle said, you get to eat your mistakes. Doesn't get any better than that. There's a lot of different candies across the table, and they're in bowls with spoons in it so that people aren't dipping in with their fingers into the uh, into the bowls to eat. That helps to keep, you know, germs down to a minimum. And you can see everybody has a piece of paper for a placemat, so we keep all of our work separate from each other. It's pretty nice. Now I'm probably going to leave Laura to work on hers a little bit and then come back so you can see it. And over here, Danielle is working one. And you can see that we've got nice pictures that came in the kit with instructions for making different pieces of sushi and different uh, different styles. Here's another beautiful box. And one of the things included in the kit was some lovely paper to make these sushi boxes with so everybody can take home a nice box of sushi. We're kind of leaning towards the idea that this would be a really fun present to make for your mom for Mother's Day or just take to school and eat up all by yourself or if you're Jason just eat all of them right here as you make them. <laughs> Another lesson that we sort of learned the hard way doing this is that it's handy to have a nice clean paintbrush and a little jar of water so that you can do things like paint the strips of uh, fruit leather or painting on the tops of the tops of the marshmallows to stick the little tiny candies on. They look just like you've put salmon roe or something on top. Here, I'm going to show you a shot of Darby's extremely gorgeous sushi invention. Now I'm going to go back to Laura so you can see her slicing her piece in two. And you end up with two beautiful little gems of candy sushi. Isn't that lovely? Absolutely adorable. I'm going to take one more look at what Danielle is up to. Putting together the last pieces of hers. Looks like a little... That kind is called maki sushi. That looks like that. Very pretty. There's one of these things from the book. Next, putting one together that's made mostly out of Rice crispy Square. Delicious and yummy. And we're going to go right back over and take a last look at Darby's because he's got a pretty spectacular work of art coming together here. Just adding the last little bit on the top, even as we speak. So if you're a Marigold library, you might want to get a hold of Marigold so you could borrow the kit for one week for your youth club. And you know what? I don't think this is a terribly costly piece of programming to put together. And super fun. We've had a really good time with it. See y'all next time.